I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Representative Ilhan Omar spoke on the House floor Wednesday about gun violence and mass shootings in the United States. She relayed a harrowing story from Uvalde, Texas about a survivor of the shooting there. The Minnesota Democrat listed other examples of shootings over the past few years. She pointed to other Western countries that passed gun control legislation after mass shootings and have seen very few attacks since. Some have argued those measures are not feasible in the U.S. due to the uniqueness of the Second Amendment. Take a listen to her remarks here. Organizes the gentlewoman from Minnesota, Ms. Omar, for five minutes. Madam Speaker, it's been 23 years since Columbine. It's been 15 years since Virginia Tech, 10 years since Sandy Hook, four years since Parkland. We have offered prayer and thoughts for years with no real action. It's been 15 days since the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, where 19 children were massacred. One of the students, a 10-year-old girl, survived because she covered herself in the blood of her dead classmate. We have trained kids to hide under their tables. We have trained teachers to barricade their doors. We have trained schools to lock down their camp campuses. Now, are we going to train kids to cover themselves with their friends' blood in order to survive? When are we going to understand the common denominator here is not just criminals, but making it easy for criminals to access deadly weapons? Australia, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, Canada, all dealt with mass shootings. But there was national outcry, and they put in place restrictions to stop mass carnage from happening again. We don't have mental health issues more than any other country. What we do have here is politicians who lack the moral courage to stand up to the NRA. We have a society that is not willing to stand up to protect its citizens especially its most vulnerable, which is our beautiful children. We have to be better than that. We also must remember, Madam Speaker, it's not just mass shootings. It's white supremacists in Buffalo who massacre elders. It's gangs who carnage our neighborhoods who allow for a three-year-old in my district to get mowed down by gunfire. The problem is guns. The problem is our colleagues on the other side of the aisle, and we have to have the courage to stand up to them and to stand up for our country.